Po' Boy Special took a road trip to Dallas, Georgia to head down products. This was an awesome road trip. All right, long road trip and we found it. Here it is in the background. We're at Head Down. Let's go check it out. We finally made it inside to Head Down Products. Here we have Dave and he's going to tell us what in the world this place is, what it does, and why it's so important, why we came all the way down here just to see what's going on. So Dave, tell us about the company. Uh, well, we're Head Down Products. We're based in Dallas, Georgia. And uh, we're one of the um, one of the few manufacturers here in the U.S. that do billet machining. Um, now, the billet machining. What 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 is the billet machining exactly? Uh, billet machining it means that we take a, a raw piece of billet aluminum and uh, we put it in one of our CNCs and we basically cut out and create what you see uh, in our lines. Our upper and lower receivers uh, they all come you know, from a, a block of aluminum. Um, the beautiful part about that is. Every part that we produce is consistent. The tolerances on them are very, very tight. Uh, we can control that. Unlike with a forged part, um, there's so many inconsistencies of forged parts out there. Um, you'll get customers that like forged parts, and you'll get customers that like billet parts. Uh, we just we put our little twist onto it to, to offer. So obviously, the you have forged and billet, and what, what in your opinion, why do you think billet is better than forged? Uh, it, it allows us to have seven way rifles uh, right, out the, right out of the case. Um, we just control the tolerances on the upper and lower receiver a lot better um, because you're not dealing with a cast piece of aluminum at all. So you're able to be more precise and more accurate and within a whole lot better tolerances than Forge. Mm -hmm. Man, that's awesome. All right, and so tell us how, how did the company form and how, did, how, did, how long has it been here? Uh, the company was formed with me and I'm pretty much a brother of mine, his name is Lee. Uh, he and I started uh, this business as a hobby, believe it or not, about seven years ago. And uh, he and I started making these things and taking them to the range and, you know, it became addictive to take to the range and, and see what people's thoughts and opinions were about what we were making. Um, our original goal was to make a gun that we could, you know, carry in the battle and love our, ourselves. So, the rifles that we manufacture today um, are, are exactly what he and I wanted and envisioned a long time ago. Um, head Down originally started out of a 10 by 15 little metal building. We didn't have any air, we didn't have any heat. Um, now, now, why that's important, he says he didn't have any air. This is near Atlanta, Georgia, where I know it gets dang hot, so that's oh, why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> the heat and the, the cool it was just an element that we had to overcome. Um, enough people started to like our product and we picked up one of the biggest distributors in the U.S. and started manufacturing for them. Um, and that's kind of what put us on the map uh, and what has built our business. And that's kind of what's put us where we are today. Tell us how, you, how it said on the website that you tested them and all the way till they failed. Sure. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Um, <clears throat> This kind of takes us back to when we first started this business. Um, we put our rifles in the hands of, of people that rely on their weapon to get them home at the end of the day. Um, we wanted them to break it. We wanted them to push push the rifle system to its limits. Uh, there's a lot of AR-15s on the market. Lots of That's true. It's a deep pool. Okay? <laughs> so, and we know that. We want people to understand the quality and the emphasis on precision that we've put into these rifles, because that's really, at the end of the day, what separates us from all of our competition. We put this in law enforcement's hands. We have put this in um, off-duty military personnel. Um, some other people that we really can't disclose. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, but we've, we've put them through their paces. And yes, they did break. And yes, they did come back and say, hey, you guys need to fix this, 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 and this. But you know what we did at the end of the day? We fixed those issues, and I think, and I think everyone at that down thinks and believes that we have a superior product to everybody else's because of the quality and the attention to detail. Right. So if, if, if you have quality control and you want it to be accurate, dependable, reliable, and you take pride in what you do, then obviously the next question would be, 
What kind of lubricant do you use or would you recommend? Uh, we use Modern Spartan uh, for two reasons. One reason this product is phenomenal. Uh, one of our lead armors, he's a Marine uh, Scout Sniper. He can attest to the accuracy of this lubricant. Uh, it's called his Accuracy Oil, and it really does, as advertised. Um, <clears throat> we have started endorsing him, uh, and it's because it's one of the big reasons is because he's local. Uh, we like supporting local business, uh, but at the same time, his product is amazing. It, it, does, it does exactly what he markets it. And it's modern Spartan? Modern. Now, does he do that just for you all, or is it available to anybody? It's available to anyone out in the public. Modern Spartan. i got to go check that out. That's the next video. <laughs> okay. With all the hype in the news and all the bad press and media that the AR-15 has been receiving, have you seen an increase in uh, awareness and interest in the AR-15? And if so, how do you all feel about the AR-15 in general? Um, <clears throat> I think everybody that's in our industry knows that the AR-15 is a politically driven item. Um, when people in politics start talking about taking them away and this and that, everybody goes nuts and they want to have it. So yes, we have seen a, a huge influx uh, in terms of new consumers coming into the market just for the AR-15. Um, but at the same time, when, when politicians stop talking about it, everybody kind of loses interest in it. So it's one of those waves that you just ride, and I think everybody that makes them and sells them will attest to that. Um, so it's it's not really a stable market, but it's a it's a viable market. You know? But here's a weird question for you: How's that? Um, you can think about it if you want. The female interest in guns and ARs is starting to climb and starting to become well recognized. How are you all rising to that challenge and catering and trying to tap into the female market? Uh, that's actually a great question because just recently uh, we had Katie Harris, who's one of the uh, three gun shooters. We had uh, we had endorsed her because she's local. Her dad owns a Creekside Range up the street and she's a phenomenal shooter. Um, we had given her, I believe, two rifles for her to shoot in a uh, pretty much all season. And I think that if you ever get a hold of her in that and have her for an interview, she'll, she'll have nothing but praises to sing about those rifles that we go for. That'd be awesome. That's our next video. <laughs> um, she is shooting for the U.S. military now, so we can't take her and yeah. her anymore. Right, right. But she's still running our rifles as far as I, as far as I know uh, to this day. So. So that's one way that we're addressing it. Uh, another way is we're trying to attract them through social media. Uh, we're trying to attract them at you know, local gun events and games and, and things like that. Um, that market is, is very untapped. It's, the pistol market is, has infiltrated it very well, but I think that <clears throat> the AR-15 market is more dominant by men, and I think a lot of women out there are somewhat intimidated by it. And I think it's just going to take a a softer approach to get them interested in it and get them comfortable uh, with actually using the rifle system. Because it's not a big ugly beast that nobody wants to touch. It's actually That's a very true. That's a true. It's a very cool weapon system. So, yeah, the, the, importance <coughs> of, the importance and the versatility of the AR. Mm -hmm. um, it's versatile because a lot of people use it for home defense. A lot of people use it for just recreational shooting. Um, I know a lot of guys that use it for hunting. Um, I mean, it can be, be chambered in so many different calibers now. You've got 6.8, you've got 6.5, you've got 300 blackout, you've got 5.56. I mean, it's limitless in terms of what you can utilize that platform for. Now, now the hunting, check your local state laws before, you know, that's very important. Yeah, that is true. Um, but <clears throat> hunting is a big one. Home defense is a big one as well. I mean, those are two big key and, and out of curiosity, why would you think an AR would be great for home defense? Uh, well, provided you live in a 30 round magazine, not clip, state, um, it just gives you more firepower to take out an assailant that's trying to harm you. you know? Um, I know me personally, if someone broke into my house and my kids or wives' lives were at risk, 
Uh, I think I'd want to have more than 10 rounds of ammunition at my disposal. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful that Georgia is a pro 2A state and we support individual rights. Um, and they respect our constitutional rights, first and foremost. So, um, yeah. Awesome, too. Definitely supporting the Second Amendment gun owned rights and obviously Georgia is that friendly and where we're from, Tennessee also is Second Amendment friendly so mm -hmm. that's why we're here and, and, and we wholeheartedly support that mm -hmm. and, and think my personal opinion, I, I love the AR, uh, had one for a long time and it, for home defense uh, things that you may not think about is because of, I have it in uh, 556, mm -hmm. uh, not the 308 or the blackout. Um, but as far as 556 is concerned, or 223, that because of the round of itself and there's not much recoil, you have quicker target acquisition, mm -hmm. and, and which is very important because the key of everything is practice and shot placement. Sure. And, and when you have one that, that's not going to jump up on you and be hard to control, I mean, this one is really easy to control and very, very easy to stay on target after each shot. But yes. that's my opinion. We'll to see what yours is. I agree. I agree. I just want to add one thing to it. It's very easy to maintain as well. Um, the weapon system breaks down into two chunks. And you got your upper receiver and your lower receiver. Um, one of which is what you really want to focus clean the most, and that's your upper receiver. Um, but you don't have to do it all the time. And that's the beautiful part about running this rifle system. Uh, it's just that versatile. All right, I'm going to put him on the spot here. How's that? Deadly question. Here it comes. Would you choose an AR over an AK-47? Of course I would. And, and because why? Because it's American made. That, there we go. <laughs> That's what we wanted to hear. <laughs> made right here in the USA, state of Georgia. What more could you ask for? Mm -hmm. All right, they told me I had to see what's in the box because they think outside the box, but I want to see what's inside the box. It's a nice, durable case. When you open up the box, oh my gosh, take a look at this. You've got to see this. Oh my. Yes, they make this, and not only do they make this, but it comes in the nice case. You've got the upper here, you've got the lower here, you've got place for optics, you've got place for storage, and a suppressor here. Or you don't make that, if you, if you need a suppressor or have that as, for, that as an accessory, you can hear. But what is so cool about this, I want to show you what's so cool about this. Not only can you do this, but watch how quickly that you can take the pieces here and put them together. So you open up the box, you remove the upper, the upper comes out, there's your pieces, here's your barrel obviously, there's your railing, there's your lower, the lower comes out, Barrel goes in, screws down and attaches here, and obviously he's done this before. <laughs> and then once that's screwed down and tightened, just hand tight. No special tool was needed for that. Railing system slips on, down, pins, and you're ready to roll. That simple, that easy, that quick that portable. So when they showed the box, I was not expecting something as nice as this. That is really cool. Very innovative. I've never seen anything like this before except for here. Straight out of the box, you saw how quickly it was put together and how easy it was to put together. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> here we have the battle rifle that they actually make here. It's not the parts aren't sent here and they put it together here. They actually make this here from start to finish. So this is an example of the battle rifle and he's going to tell us what's so good about this battle rifle here. Uh, well basically this is our, this is a new finish. Uh, excuse my band-aid, I had a boot 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 <laughs> shot. Um, this is our new finish. Uh, it's a flat dark earth finish. It's anodized so it's not Cerakoted. Um, we've included the magical furniture and the flat dark earth color that they offer. Uh, it's that good. It really complements the, the rifle itself. Um, we always use and endorse Lancer magazines. Uh, Lancer magazines are amazing. Uh, we like them because 
they have metal feed ramps or metal lips around the top of it, which prevents swelling. Uh, just a superior magazine to those other ones that are on the market. <clears throat> um, comes with a standard six pound GI trigger, um, standard parts and components, one and seven twist chrome line phosphated barrel, standard A2 birdcage, and uh, you know, standard mo flat dark earth furniture. So do, how come you preferred the anodized instead of Circo? Uh, this is really just something unique that we come up with, uh, something that is just really not in the market. Um, we try to cater to that, you know, market that nobody else is kind of doing, boutique type thing. Um, and this finish is just one of those. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, here's an example of one of the M4s that they make here. And M4 is very popular, especially with uh, law enforcement, uh, military, and what have you. But this M4 is at the price that you can get it here. It is very, very good quality-wise, the same quality, the same standards as the higher end uh, price-wise. Now, when I say same quality and same standards, the uppers here are from billet aluminum. And all the tolerances, all the specifications are at the same high quality control standards as anything else they have here. So it doesn't matter what, le what you choose from this place, it's going to be at the highest quality standard. They're triple checked. Everything is shot and tested by the armorer and make sure that everything is the best that it can be made and the best that you can receive. Isn't that right? That's correct. If it doesn't cycle and function, it doesn't leave our building. Um, we also offer a Rifle for Life program, uh, something new that we just started in January of this year. Um, the beautiful part about that is stuff happens. Okay, The only thing that this warranty does not cover is theft. Okay, um, If you run over this gun with a tank, I don't know where you get a tank, but <laughs> if, you got, if you ran it over with a tank, we would still honor our warranty with you. Um, we would either repair it or replace it free of charge, no cost to you. Um, and another cool thing about that warranty is you don't have to fill out all this ridiculous paperwork with it. It follows the serial number of the gun. So if you sell it to a customer or a friend of yours or whatever, that rifle for life warranty is going to follow that person or it's basically going to follow the gun for the rest of its life. Um, and that, that covers anything. And that being said, who else is going to give you a rifle for life guaranteed warranty and they would not do that unless they stood behind what they make and what they have. Quite literally, behind. That's right. <laughs> How's that? Good. All right, here we have the model known as PV-13, and he's going to go over some really cool aspects of this that you may not find anywhere else, but it's going to show how they pay attention to not only detail, but functionality, durability, and why they stand behind what they do. Uh, well, like he said, this is our PV-13 rifle. Uh, it comes standard with a 13-inch Provectus rail, uh, billet upper and lower receiver set, um, phosphated, mill spec, bulk carrier group. Um, Rainier Arms is kind enough to um, private label their Raptor charging handles for us. Um, all of our Provectus line guns come standard with KNS pins, a two-stage SSA geisel trigger, uh, an ergo grip, which is wonderful if you're doing a day of shooting. Um, That's true. Lancer magazine, our HDF buttstock, uh, we've just dimpled it. Uh, Tactical Intent is actually the original manufacturer for this buttstock, so it's not to be confused as being a head-down buttstock. They're just private labeling it for us. Um, standard bird cage. And all of our Provectus line guns come standard and mid-length gas, uh, and it's a one in seven chrome line phosphated barrel. All right, can you pull that out one more time? Sure. We'll get it close to my head. Yeah. Let's see if I can. All right. How's that? Bring it up. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. That is really cool. <laughs> well, you know what? Turn it. Turn it over. Is there? Any, turn the, no, the gun up. Upside down. Yeah. So it's then, the other way. Yeah. Let's do that uh, closer. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. It's awesome, too, because the shirt's in the background next to it. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, here is our trip to head down. Got a lot of good things, got a lot of great information. They take pride in their product. It's billet made, very durable, very rugged, and very dependable. They've tested their stuff, they've tweaked and made all kinds of improvements, and they keep researching and keep improving. Also got one of these Lancer magazines that they swear by, and so that's what we, we love the place, we love the product, and we just wanted to say this. Every time that I've communicated with them, either by phone call or email, they've always been very good. Their customer service is excellent. They've been very quick to respond to me, and they didn't know me from Adam, never heard from me, but every time I've tried to communicate with them, they've gotten back to me very quickly. They were very friendly, and I think the world of this place, and like I said, it's the only place where it's made right here in the U.S. of A. So if you want a quality product, an AR, made here in the U.S., head down. That's right. If you want one of these, head down there yourself, and you'll get the best. I guarantee it. They guarantee it. You saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel.